Aloha and welcome to Restaurants of Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. I am your host, Siobhan Garcia, the Executive Assistant for the Hawaii Restaurant Association. I am filling in today for our lovely uh, Executive Director, Cheryl Matsuoka. Twice a month, we discuss important and timely topics centered around our Hawaii food service industry. Today, we are talking with Mark Menard, Business Services Coordinator for the American Job Center. Ramon Ruiz, who is the local veterans employment representative at the Workforce Development Division. Today, our discussion is about our free, yes, you heard that right, free hiring fair. The American Job Center has been very gracious to give the Hawaii Restaurant Association 30 tables at its upcoming hiring fair on Tuesday, October 11th at the Dole Cannery. So before we get started, I would like to give our guests an opportunity to introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about them. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with our veteran, Mark, who is a veteran to this Think Tech. Welcome, Mark. Hey, Siobhan. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me again. Uh, yes, hi. Um, my name is Mark Menard. I'm the Business Services Coordinator here at the American Job Center. Um, and it's my job to um, go out there and outreach to uh, job seekers uh, who are looking for um, employment. So it's also my job to go out and outreach to employers too. So um, that's my main mission, mission is to um, connect the job seekers with employers. Well, thank you so much. And we're so glad to have you again. Um, Ramon, can you give us a little bit of information on yourself and a little background? Uh, sure. Uh, my name is Ramon Ruiz. And I, a veteran, military veteran, Air Force, 24 years. And I work for Department of Labor here at the American Job Center. My responsibility is act as a lever, local veteran employment representative. And I act as a liaison uh, between our veterans uh, that we're trying to uh, get hired uh, to the employers, employers in the community. And I try to uh, find out their business needs, uh, help them develop uh, any uh, business ideas and tie them into workforce development. And if they have positions seeking qualified personnel, then of course we have uh, uh, some qualified veterans uh, ready to go. Well, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for your service, Ramon. Um, moving forward, as we were saying, this is a free hiring event, Mark. Um, this is gonna save a lot of companies out there, a lot of money. As we all know, it's it kind of gets costly when they're looking for employees. So, um, you know, can you give us a little bit more information on the American Job Center um, and the goals and objectives for employers as well as employees? Yeah, sure. So, um, th so the American Job Center, um, again, as I said, you know, our our main goal is to connect uh, job seekers with employers. So we provide uh, numerous services for that. Um, you know, with uh, Ramon here, we do have, um, you know, for our veteran services, and he'll, he'll be able to talk a little bit about that. Um, and that is actually a partnership um, between the city, county, and, uh, and the state. Um, you know, for services, for, for those people who are um, job seekers, uh, we start with the basic services of just a resource center, right? So if you are a person who needs to gain access to the internet, uh, to a laptop to do job searches, to um, register for Hire Net Hawaii, which is, um, you know, people who are familiar with um, enrolling into uh, unemployment insurance, that, that is a requirement, um, you know, getting registered in that. Uh, we have uh, a resource center uh, where we have personnel there that, that can help you with that for people who aren't too um, savvy in navigating the computer. You know, we have somebody to help you with that. Um, and, um, you know, th th those would be our, our basic service for, you know, th those job seekers. But then on top of that, so, you know, if you're needing help with your resume, right, we have resume workshops. Um, we also have interviewing skills tips workshops. So if you're looking to, you know, um, you know, some some good tips on, on what, what interview questions are and what how might you might answer some of those interview questions. Um, and then we also do have a basic um, kind of a one-on-one -on -one tutorial on, on computer skills, you know, just to kind of how, how do you navigate the keyboard? How do you, um, you know, uh, get, get to certain certain sites that are um, that are often gone to, you know, when, when you're looking for employment. So those are our basic services. And then for those who, um, you know, need assistance and uh, again, since, uh, you know, it's my group, um, um, main mission, right, is to go out and outreach to employers. Is, so those relationships that, 
that we do have with um, employers out there, um, you know, we, we can help people connect to them. So depending on what industry you're looking for, what type of position you're looking for. So for example, right, we have a great, great relationship with the uh, Hawaii uh, Restaurant Association. So those, you know, folks are coming in that might want to um, find something in the restaurant uh, industry, you know, whether that be prep cook or um, if they're, you know, looking for an entry uh, level position, you know, you know, just starting off washing dishes. Um, you know, it's our it's relationships like we do have, like with the uh, with the Hawaii Restaurant Association, that we're able to make those connections. Um, for those uh, individuals who are looking to maybe skill up um, and um, kind of spruce up their their marketability um, as a, a job seeker, we also do uh, provide for those who are eligible uh, training services. So we can actually provide up to four thousand um, dollars. Well, we can provide resources up to um, uh, four thousand dollars in tuition costs. Um, so, you know, if you're looking to get certifications, for example, you know, some of the um, really popular ones are, you know, people looking to get their CDL license. Uh, if you're becoming a CNA, um, some IT is very popular now too, um, along with um, medical coding and building the healthcare industry too. So, you know, any of those certifications that you might need uh, to make yourself a little bit more marketable um, uh, when you're applying for these positions, we're able to actually, um, you know, provide you with, uh, with funding and assistance to do that. Wow. So <clears throat> I think I read somewhere they say you guys are a one-stop center. Is that correct? Yeah. So the, the concept of the American Job Center is, is a one-stop shop, right? So, um, you know, I had mentioned some partner, the partnership that we have with, this, with our um, state partners, with the Workforce Development Division. Um, we have our partnerships with the community colleges, uh, with the Department of Vocational Rehab, uh, for those individuals with disabilities. Uh, we do have a partnership with uh, unemployment insurance. Um, you know, pre-COVID, uh, we did have um, actually personnel here. Uh, we're still trying to we're still trying to get uh, some of um, some of those pieces back um, as having um, you know personnel here. Um, again, in that idea of being a one-stop shop. So when you're coming in to visit the job center, depending on what your service needs are, you know we'd be able to either direct you if it's education, right, to the community colleges, if it's unemployment insurance, unemployment insurance. Uh, if you're a veteran, right, to, to veteran services. So instead of having to send you, you know, to Punchbowl or, or downtown, right, um, our, our objective is to is keep it here. Um, and along with some of those services, is uh, we have a great youth services program uh, that uh, services uh, youth 16 to 24, mainly to help them get their GED and also put them on, on a career path with um, different work-based learnings and uh, occupational um, skills training. And then we also have a housing component where we work with individuals who are experiencing homelessness. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, we help them actually first find employment if they don't already, uh, and then they'd be eligible uh, for uh, housing subsidies. So all that is under one roof. Wow, that, that's really great. I think it's um, something that a lot of people don't realize that you guys are that large of a resource, um, not only to the employers, um, but to the employees, you know, who are seeking, um, whether it's a career change or, you know, just looking to see how they can um, get those new skills, as you were saying. So that's really great to hear. Um, Ramon, I'm going to move on to you real quick and kind of uh, my question, I guess, is um, how does your services work in sync with um, Mark and his division? Well, I think that, um, you know, Mark and I, we've worked together for a while now, and we, we basically mirror each other in, in some ways. Um, we do conduct job fairs um, we, here at the American Job Center, but um, we complement each other when we, when we work with businesses and we, we, we try to find out their needs and we look at our programs. He has city and county programs, I have state programs, and we're under one roof, like you said, one-stop shop. And we try to see how we can complement the needs of our uh, business uh, businesses out there. We do outreaches, we do um, build relationships, and it is two-part. I guess you can say that at one, one side is trying to help their business uh, do better and utilizing our programs. And we happen to have a uh, personnel uh, population group on our side. Um, here at the American Job Center, the veteran side, Jobs for Veteran State Grant, uh, under that grant, it states that we are to help a certain category of veterans, so not all veterans. If there's not a veteran that fits under the uh, significant barriers uh, needs type veteran, then we have the uh, employment services that can be assisted to anyone. Uh, 
by Wagner Pizer grant here at the uh, American Job Center. So the veteran side, we help a significant uh, barriers to uh, employment veterans that has at least one of the 10 categories. Uh, they could be disabled or special disabled uh, rating of 30% uh, or greater you know, by the VA. They could be low income uh, identified by WIOA. They could be previously incarcerated. They could be ages 18 to 24 category. They could be someone uh, Vietnam era. They could be uh, someone getting out of the service due to medical. Uh, so in these categories that I've just mentioned, a few are examples of the type of veteran that we, we, we try to assist as well. And we have what they call um, DVOPs, Disabled Veteran Outre Outreach Specialists. Uh, they, what they do, they're basically veterans employment counselors. They do the case management with these veterans and they assist them one-on-one. -on -one. And, and like Mark mentioned, you know, some of the some of the things how they help what our guys do is they will help with resume writing resume building um, workshops uh you know signing them uh workshops where they can learn soft skills interviewing skills what are they doing wrong or what can they do better to help them to get employed so all of that are just focused on helping those types of veterans to find their employment and we've had some great success oh that's great to hear <clears throat> you know we've we really have um, a big niche right here in Hawaii for a lot of veterans. So it's really great to hear that they have other resources other than just in the military aspect. So, you know, and, and a lot of these veterans that we're talking about, do they get, um, a lot of them already have training in certain things like Mark was saying, right? Is there opportunities for them to earn um, same things, different um opportunities that they can to benefit their skills? Well, there are transferable skills and you're very correct. Um, almost everything you can think of that someone is doing into military, uh, you could find a transitional opportunity for them transferring those skills into the civilian sector. And uh, often we have some uh, veterans, people getting out that they're under the impression that they could make the same amount of money or higher money immediately. And that's not how it works. Sometimes in the transitioning, you're not just uh, transitioning uh, some of your skills, but also you're trying to find a company that you can appropriately uh, match those skills. Because if you still have some training and learning how to harness those skills into that particular company, then how can you earn that wage that you're expecting? You know, so you gotta you gotta be humble and and uh, look at your skills, which is very valuable, but also try to find a company that either values what you're what you're having to offer or find a company that you can grow with and eventually get to where you want to be. And so it's a win-win opportunity. So oh well that's great. And you know it, what you guys are doing over there is is amazing, especially because <clears throat> with the staffing shortages, there's so many people looking for skilled workers and to hear that they have a place to go um, to be able to learn those new skills or for our employers to know that when they go over to American Job Center that they're finding skilled employees and and that you guys have been working with them to make sure that they're ready to go out. So that's that's awesome. Um, you know, we're talking about our free hiring fair and Mark, um, obviously every industry is having staffing shortages, but we see it a lot in our local restaurant industry. Um, what are ways that you feel you could best help the restaurants in filling those shortages? Sure. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's a story that's not, you know, um, unique to us here in, uh, in Hawaii, right? It's, it's a nationwide um, challenge, right, for um, businesses in, in all the sectors. Um, but you're right, you know, especially in the, in the food industry um, and in retail also, you know, we get calls all the time from businesses. Hey, do you have people? Do you have people? Um, you know, unfortunately, we're not a job bank, right? So we don't just have like a, a, a line of people just waiting, right, with tickets. Um, but what we do have, as, you know, Ramon was mentioning, is we have um, all these different populations of people from, from different backgrounds. So, you know, one thing I do um, talk to businesses about because we're in this climate of, um, of a shortage of workers or a, a seemingly a shortage of workers, right? We're not getting those, those applicants that are coming through and, and following through is, is really looking at different employment pools, right? So not just, you know, putting it on um, 
Indeed or mm. you know, one of these other job, job search sites or however you're posting them. Um, but really going out there and actively looking at um, some of these other employment pools. So, you know, Ramon mentioned, you know, veterans who come with a great background of different kinds of skills, right? Um, you know, we work with uh, individuals who are, for, for example, um, informally, uh, they've been formerly incarcerated, right? Um, those are also individuals that, you know, they do have a barrier and that they have a, um, they have a past, right? Um, but, but they're trying to, to move forward, but they do come with a, um, with a, a set of, of skills, right, mm -hmm. uh, what they've done. Um, but, you know, a, a lot of times that, that comes with, with some sort of stigma, right? Um, but a lot of these um, individuals are just looking for an opportunity. Um, and, you know, for those employers who are open and willing to give, um, you know, somebody an opportunity to, um, you know, to um, fill in into a position and grow you know, with that organization is, is something I think a lot of people are looking for. And, you know, also um, individuals with, with disabilities, right? We work with our um, uh, vocational rehab department, vocational rehab, you know, all these individuals are looking um, to, to find positions and oftentimes they, they do run into these barriers, right? Because mm -hmm. there might be a stigma or um, some sort of uh, pre-preconception, right? But oftentimes, you know, these individuals tend, they, they can be actually your best workers, right? Because you're giving them that opportunity. Um, you know, they're grateful for that and they, they turn out to be the most loyal, most hardworking um, people right. for you. Um, you know, so um, because we, we can help um, businesses connect with, with, um, um, with, those, with those types of um, you know, people who are, who are looking for um, employment, you know, that's definitely a resource that, that I would consider for our employers. Um, you know, ha having these job fairs, you're right, you know, um, some can be kind of expensive. I know that if any, any employers have had experience, you know, um, with, with some of the larger uh, job fairs, it can get kind of costly. So us being, you know, a, a government funded um, community resource, uh, there's no out of pocket cost to our, our businesses or employers. Um, you know, we just ask that they come with, with an open mind and, and really, um, uh, you know, take a look at everybody that, that comes down. Um, you know, the other things that we can provide for, um, uh, for our employers that kind of gives them a, a little bit of an uh, incentive or um, a way to help them with um, employing um, people is, you know, there are, there are certain tax credits that they can apply for, right? So if they do hire individuals from, from different, um, from certain backgrounds, right? So a person with disability, veterans, uh, formerly incarcerated, they can apply for, for tax credits. Um, there's also something called federal bonding, right? So if there's somebody that does have, you know, a background, um, they can apply for a federal bonding up to $5,000, right? It's just a little bit of insurance um, mm -hmm. that, that a business can, uh, you know, apply for. Um, you know, so all those things put together, you know, um, we're hoping that all that kind of culminates here in our job fair so that we get people from all different backgrounds coming down. Um, and um, so we're, again, it'll be on October 11th from nine to one. Uh, and so for those who are looking to come down, um, there is parking, there's validated parking at the, if you're familiar with, with Dole Cannery across the street is the Dole um, Theaters, right mm -hmm. above that is a parking structure. Uh, so we will validate for those who are attending uh, $3 mm -hmm. for the uh, whole day. Um, and then we will also be doing workshops. Uh, so every hour starting from nine o'clock, so nine, 10, 11, and 12, um, we'll be um, all alternating between resume writing and interviewing skill tips. Um, so on, at nine o'clock will be a resume, at 10 o'clock will be an interviewing skills tips, and then again at 11, resume writing, and at 12, um, um, interviewing skill tips. And we'll be actually holding those um, at the American Job Center. Um, so if, uh, also people who aren't, uh, if they haven't been to the Dole Cannery in a while, um, it's a good chance to kind of re-familiarize re yourself with the Dole Cannery. But we, uh, we've been working with uh, the, the uh, Dole Cannery to um, expand our space. So they've really, uh, they've been really great uh, working with us and letting us use some of uh, the outside Galleria space, which is where we'll be hosting you folks. Uh, so they've uh, let us expand up to 30 tables, which is great because it's twice as much as what we've been using. Um, so yeah, if you're, you know, if you're down, if you're at Costco, do some shopping at Costco and then stop by over here. Um, you know, we've got some, uh, you know, Dole Cannery has um, some uh, um, restaurants in here. Uh, they've got a little mini mart. Um, if you want to go see a movie, there's also the movie theaters over here too, right? Um, so yeah, we're really looking forward to um, uh, this next job here because it's a great partnership with you folks at the Hawaii restaurant. Uh, and up to today, it'll be our largest one. 
Oh, well, you know, thank you again. Um, <laughs> as, as we've mentioned time and time again, we're not the only industry that is looking to hire. And we've let all of our uh, members and all of those who are subscribers know that, you know, the restaurants, the industry, everyone is welcome who is hiring. We want everybody to come out. Um, and as you're saying, Mark, this is a completely free, even down to parking, <laughs> validated parking. It can't get any better than that. So well, that was, that's $3. <laughs> well, okay. Close to free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can go to any job fair these days and pay only three dollars. So, yeah, that's true. wow. You know, I mean, um, and that's the thing, right? Is that you're mentioning like the incarcerated and all these other different um, avenues. And as we all know, restaurants, the industry itself, are always looking for people with hospitality, right? And what better way, whether you're just starting out as a job seeker, to go into restaurants? or the industry, and as well as people looking for that second chance, you know, where um, it, it's, it's such a great place to be. And it's a, it's a area where they can grow. And, um, you know, so thank you so much again. And we're really looking forward to this um, hiring fair. Um, you know, we've talked about it a little bit too, but people can hire on the spot. So this is kind of like having those, um, you know, having interviews right there without having to schedule and take a different day to schedule out. So that's great. Is there something you would suggest that the employers bring with them to be prepared? Of the employers or the uh, job seeker? Um, employers. So for all employers. the restaurants that will have their booths there in the industry, what would you suggest they come with? Yeah, um, anything to, you know, maybe advertise their, uh, their business. Um, really, you know, talk about, you know, it, Okay, so here's the, the uh, as a lot of businesses know about this, right? We're kind of in, because of the job market the way it is, um, there's really a wage war going on right now, right? Um, you know, some of these places are offering, you know, starting wages at uh, 16 $17 at fast food places, right? Uh, so it's, it's hard to, depending on your business and the size of your business and what your margins are, it's hard to compete with that sometimes, right? So really come with your story of, of who you are as a business, right? Why would... Why would a job seeker want to come to you, right, and, and be a part of your organization? So I would say come prepared with, with that story. Um, you know, what sets you apart um, from, you know, any other business? You know, what is it about your culture? Or what is it about your values? Um, you know, above wages, those are also important to, to job seekers, I think. Um, so I would say, you know, come prepared with that. Um, goodies and giveaways are always great, right? So, <laughs> pens or, or something to, to take away that, that's always good but um yeah I would say the most important thing would be um you know is to be be ready to talk about why um you know you would be a, a great employer yeah that's that's great information because you know like we're saying there's so many people looking that what is going to set you apart you know what is it that whether it's your, you know, a lot of people offer medical and dental and all these other things, but what is it about your company, right? If it's something all your employees have started with you from 15 years ago and they've been able to grow, yes. right? that's such a great success story for, for them. And it, I think it would entice somebody to want to stay and know that, you know, they, they build from within. So perfect information. Um, Ramon, so you're going to be part of this fair as well. Um, is there something that you're doing to market for, um, to have, you know, a lot of the veteran foot traffic? You mean market as far as in what aspect? Um, so, so that way, you know, a lot of these veterans, hopefully they'll come out, right, in, and mm -hmm. we'll have a showing of a lot of them there too. Is there something that... Um, the American Job Center is doing besides just through the restaurants. Are you guys doing something to market to those um, potential employees? Well, um, at this particular job fair that we're having, uh, which Mark is uh, also going to be at, um, we always try to uh, market the resources that we have available for them. We always try to reiterate again what's available. So at one place you could be searching for a job. If you don't have a resume, then we could send you up to an area where we could help you access a computer and build a resume. And uh, often uh, we have uh, uh, some organization, nonprofit, you know, that may assist in review of resumes and so forth. And so, 
you can get some help like that. Um, so resources, if you're not prepared, then we could probably help you a little bit to, to uh, you know, um, present something to the employers. You know, um, we're always there to help them and to uh, meet new veterans that show up. But uh, if it's veterans that we've already been case managing, chances are we already know what they're looking for. And then we know the employers, what kind of jobs there. And so we ensure that they, they come and then uh, we can try to uh, hope that they will engage with these employers and uh, share their skills. You know, um, I, kn I know that you mentioned to Mark about what you would bring, what employers would bring. I think he, he really uh, made a good point. What I would ask that employers bring is uh, their readiness to engage, readiness to engage when you get there, because these employers, uh, they represent the companies of the first face of the companies. And so, you know, how you conduct yourself and, and, and how you uh, interact, you know, is very important. Sometimes people come to job fairs and they don't know how, how to, uh, you know, begin. And so just engage. You got something, you came there for a reason, uh, engage with people that are coming to your table. You know, that's going to help both sides to learn each other and, and start things going. Great information. And thank you for the reminder. You know, sometimes we need, um, we need a little bit of encouragement sometimes when we're at these types of events to remember that everybody's there for one reason and one reason alone, and that's to help each other out. So um, yeah. I love that. Um, so, you know, we have talked about this. It's October 11th. It's down at Dole Cannery. Um, I know you guys have some other things coming up. Can you give us a real quick overview of what the next, um, next things are in the pipeline? Um, you know, Ramon, I'll, I'll let you go first with your, because I think you have another one coming up, right? Yeah, we have um, October 26th. I'm putting together uh, a hiring event in person, and it'll be at the uh, Kehi Lagoon Memorial. And it's just right off of Nimitz. And um, we starting out with 20 employers. And the intention is we want to have employers that those that might be able to showcase remote jobs or hybrid jobs, we'd love to have you. And then of course we have most of them are traditional jobs. So we have employers with most traditional jobs, but you, this list of 20 are starting to build where it's gonna be dynamite. I mean, you're gonna have some companies uh, offering remote jobs, hybrid jobs. You're gonna have jobs from, uh, you know, companies offering drivers, uh, hospitals, we're going to have uh, banks, we're going to have all kinds of jobs. And what people fail to understand is when you mention a bank, you need to know that that it's everything you do to run a facility. So you're going to have, you know, besides a bank teller, you're going to need a facility manager, you're going to need a projects manager, you're going to need a lot of, a lot of other things. And so that's the same with hospitals as well. So it there's going to be tons of jobs. Right now, we have uh, 19 employers, and we're waiting on for some applications to come back. We may very well go over 20. And if we do, that's going to be okay, because we're going to try and find room for those. There's going to be apprenticeship programs. There's going to be people from the state department. Um, we have uh, DOT, Department of Transportation, Department of Labor. We're going to have Department of Agriculture. We're going to have uh, the electricians, uh, you know, union we we're just going to be a variety from apprenticeship internships uh state we're going to have some federal jobs uh you know just a number of uh, employers so there should be a job for you if you're seriously looking for work there's something for you there's something for you wow that sounds amazing and as you just talked about there's so many different industries that have um <clears throat> back of house, right, sort of things that nobody really sees and forgets that those are what makes the company run. So everybody needs um, somebody like that. So that's perfect. And um, again, thank you so much to both of you for joining us. And thank you again for the opportunity for um, our industry to benefit from this. And we hope that in the end, um, everybody will come out a, a winner for this one. And <clears throat> we're so excited. Um, as we kind of close, I wanted to make sure that everybody um, remembers it's October 11th at the Dole Cannery. If you are still interested in signing up and having a free booth, as we mentioned, 
there is still room and there is still time. Um, so please contact us at the info at hawaiirestaurant.org. And um, we will also, if you have information or you would like information from American Job Center, we can make sure to connect you with either Ramon or Mark, who have been so helpful. And again, we are the voice of Hawaii's restaurants and food service industry. If you would like to reach us to learn more, please email us at info at hawaiirestaurant.org. Thank you again. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.